Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Tampa Glen Farm in Saudi Valley. Don't mind me carrying jam to bed. I was in a rush, okay? We all saw how close it was last night. I needed to, uh, to hop in with my inventory still clogging up with uh, various things that I didn't have enough time to go and sell, but we'll take care of that today. Now, I do believe that we're fine for the next two days. Indeed, the Egg Festival will be in three days' time, so in the next episode. And now comes the time to find out. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow? It's going to be beautiful and sunny tomorrow. That's very nice to hear. And what's uh, Living Off the Land got to share with us today? Item Spotlight, Crab Pot. Experienced anglers know how to craft crab pots. Despite the name, the pots can be used to catch a wide variety of aquatic critters in both fresh and salt water. Just place your crab pot in the water and load it with bait. Come back the next day and check what uh, to see what you caught. You'll need to load it with bait again to catch more. Well, I mean, that does seem reasonable. <sighs> okay. Wellwick, has the drought come to an end? Uh, I mean, it's got not got worse. It's not got worse. I will take that win, small though it may be. Oh, my lord. My inventory really is just a mess. There we go. That makes it a little bit easier. Right. We've got a spare torch. And now I can drop off all of the things that I meant to drop off last night. There we go. That Ooh, Actually, we've got a, a fish to drop in there as well. Right. Let's drop off the copper. We're actually starting to get things uh, looking quite nice in there. No, to be perfectly honest. We've also got some seeds to drop off. We've got seven strawberry seeds uh, just waiting. Uh, let's grab out the gold. We want to get some more of those on the go. Uh, do we have any more items? To yeah, we're going to grab the blueberries. Sure. I'm going to move the blueberries down to pop into the uh, into the uh, preserve jars. Let's grab that tiny line as well. Okay then, Yoko, come along. Have something nice to drink. It is important for you to stay hydrated. Oh, my lord. That is uh, very much the case with me in real life right now. It's so hot. Uh, I, am, I am melting. Uh, let's drop all of these off. Uh, and if, if you do detect a little bit less, uh, le less uh, um, animation to my voice, and animation sounds the wrong thing, the auditory vo version of, of being animated, it's because I am melting. It is so oppressively warm right now. Uh, we've got a little bit longer to go before we can finish off the next batch in the community center, but I'm reasonably happy with the progress that we're making. We seem to be making progress at a, at a decent clip right now, thanks to the, to the uh, catfish. Right, uh, I suppose before we go down and check in on our animals, we will go ahead and get all of these recycled. I'm going to go ahead and pop the dandelion in there, sure. We're also going to take the snail and pop it over here. Oh, that's nice music. There we are. I believe that's the moonlight jelly music. All right, let's go and introduce ourselves to our goat friends, who we haven't actually been able to say hello to properly. I know, I know, it, it, quite awful, really. There we go. Right, if you could hang tight there. Ba -da -da. There we go. I hope you all slept wonderfully well last night. There we go. Uh, there we go. It doesn't seem that the goats hold uh, a bearing a grudge against me for not having uh, taken the time out to introduce myself on their first night. I am very pleased with this because I did feel fantastically bad. There we go. And get all the milk on the rock go. There we are. I mean, there wasn't really any, any real um, benefit if we'd come in here and grabbed everything. Uh, and uh, sold it last night because we're not in a backlog with the milk, so we wouldn't have actually been saving saving time on anything there. But da caryads. There we go. Let's say good morning to them all before we start collecting the eggs. There we are. Now there won't be any duck eggs for a little while, I should imagine, uh, simply because they will produce eggs every other day. Are there any eggs in here? Oh, there are. Okay, well, I do need to drop by here later on tonight then to make sure that we get all of that. Now, we do have a fishing quest to take care of, and I would very much like to take care of that. 
And that is for lakefish, I do believe. Yes, biome balance. For unknown reasons, the local population of lakefish has grown to an unsustainable level. I need a local angler to help reduce their numbers. Now, there are two places that we could go where we could catch lakefish. But I think, uh, yeah, we're going to go all the way up to the mountain uh, lake to fish today, I think. Let's grab uh, all of these, tuck them away. That being said... Yeah, that being said... I think I need to go and try and make amends with uh, our good friend Rasmodius and take him a gift. Yeah, so we'll, we'll do the uh, fishing in the forest instead, in the lake in the forest. There we go. We are getting very close. Ten row. We just need a few more. Exactly how many we need, I don't recall. Fifteen. So uh, we only need five more and we've completed the pantry. And with that, I believe we get the greenhouse. I'm very, very excited about that, to be sure. There we go. Oh, no, oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> uh, a little, little bit tricky sometimes. All right. Well, first and foremost, let's go and uh, pop down to see our good friend, the wizard, and offer them a gift. A, uh, a small, small attempt to make amends for the many quests that I failed for them. I really do hope that we can get more of the townsfolk uh, raise their relationship with us. Many thanks. This item has some very interesting properties. Uh, you're very welcome. There are many mysteries around us. You must be patient if you wish to discover them. Uh, very well. Uh, I guess uh, on that note, I shall be patient and I shall walk away without having to uh, ask you what they are. Right. Okay, so we... I mean, we, we're done with, with all of our work around the farm, like, surprisingly early, actually. Uh, I suppose I could go up to Robin, but... Mm, no. Uh, where's the crocus There we go. Here you go, Jazz. I love presents. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Oh, well, I've already given that gift to you. I want to just talk to you now. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, I messed up again. Please stop talking to me every single time. It's not like you don't know at this point. It's true. I'm a bit of a scallywag. Uh, right. Okay, well, let's see about having a little fish down here. You know what? By about 2 p.m., I think we'll head up to the mountain. We'll do the rest of our uh, lake fishing up there. And that will afford me an opportunity to go via the uh, the chests we have and maybe get enough materials together to have Robin make us a, uh, a little shed on the farm. Now, hopefully... We'll have enough room for it, but it eh, could be that we will struggle a little bit. I may have to prune some of the, the plants. I hope I don't have to, but there is a, a chance that that will be the case. Now, I'll just fish this one, and then we'll check, make sure that we are actually making some progress with the quest. Because it could be that this is not being counted, and it is tr uh, just the uh, lake fish on the mountain that will count. There we are. Let's have a look. No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, okay, zero of 20. So, yes, that doesn't count. Rightio, then. Well, it's good that, that we thought to check, I suppose. Uh, I mean, it wasn't wasn't too bad. We're doing a little bit of fishing in the forest. It's uh, never never a mistake. Just a, just a little accident. A happy one at that. Right, let's head on up. Check for the materials that we're going to need to give Robin to get the uh, get the barn built. And you know what? While we're passing by, may as well get some more gold on the go. Uh, there we go. I don't know if we needed stone. I don't recall. Uh, either way, though, we should be good. I mean, we're literally drowning in gold bars. I, I shouldn't have to worry about just buying anything that I'm shy of. There we go drop of the gold. Right, let us be on our way. I've got quite a lot of wood, quite a lot of stone, and I do believe that it is the wood that we needed like 400 of for the barn. Oh, well, not the barn, the, the shed. Oh, I won't say no to a little bit of forage on our way. Uh, if we see Linus, I can always offer it to him. There we go. Oh, oh. Oh, this is new. Uh... Ah, that feels good. The water's never been cleaner. Oh, for clearing up all of the rubbish. 
And the same goes for me. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you can uh, you can enjoy bathing in the lake again. That was actually quite quite pleasant. Uh, as it happens, let me come along and give you a little gift. Here you go, mate. This is a great gift. Thank you. You're more than welcome. The people here seem nice, but they avoid me. People are afraid of the unknown. Well, hopefully one day they will come out of their shells and be a little bit less afraid. Uh, for what it's worth, I've enjoyed your friendship quite a lot. Hey, Demetrius. How's the farming business going? It's parsnip season, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. I can imagine it being pretty peaceful, working outdoors with plants all day. Uh, I, I managed to make it less peaceful by being busy all the time, but yeah, I suppose it is. You're always welcome to visit us, even if you aren't shopping, you know. Oh, well, that's very nice of you to say. But I did actually come here to con get some uh, farm buildings constructed, so... Ah, oh, Trent. You're a little bit shy. Okay. I was worried that that might be the case. I was a little bit concerned. Okay, well, uh, never mind. We're going to go and catch a bunch of fish, then. Do I need to put them anywhere? I think it's just catch them. So, maybe by the end of today, we will actually have all of the fish that we need and uh, have turned those fish into money that will then allow us to get the uh, get the shed built. All right, well, it's only 3.20 p.m., which means we've got a very long day of fishing ahead of us. See you in a couple of moments. Enjoy. And with a perfect catch on a perfect max cast, we wrap up the quest. For unknown reasons, the local population of lakefish has grown to an unsustainable level. Not anymore, because half of them are in my inventory right now. And with that amount of fish, I don't think we're going to have any problems being able to afford an upgrade to the farm. Or rather, a new building on the farm. But in my my, uh, my mind, it's an upgrade. Right, okay, time to head back, though. Oh, my lord, that took us pretty much all day to do. And we've got a total of six iridium chubs and uh, one normal chub. One normal carp, six iridium carp, one gold largemouth bass, two iridium largemouth bass, three smallmouth bass, and three bullhead, both iridium quality and uh, seven green algae, and a lone broken CD. Not too bad, all things considered. Not too bad, all things considered. I'm actually pretty pretty pleased with it. All right, let's uh, go and see if we can't grab the last little bits from the, uh, the farm animals down here uh, before we turn in. There we go, grab all the cheese. We can immediately sell that as well. No star paub. Have a good night. Hopefully they will have pleasant dreams. And the same for our ducks and, of course, our chickens as well. However, the ducks and, of course, our chickens uh, need two eggs to be popped in there. There we go. That will cover the, uh, the slight backlog that we had. All right. We should be able to make a rather large amount of, uh, rather large amount of cash with that massive hole there. You have a nice night now. Thank you very much for your help today. It was, of course, invaluable. Uh, let's pop the CD there. And time for all of the fish. Uh, none of the algae, though. All of the fish and the cheese and the mayo to all go in there. We should get a pretty big haul from this, I should imagine. Uh, is there anything else I need to drop off? Uh, you know what, well, I'll keep the dandelion on me, and of course the wood as well. I might as well. Though, my fishing tackle did, quite quite frustratingly, run out while we were out there. So I do need to get that sorted as well. There we go. Oops. 
just had to uh, turn off the alarm there. Uh, I've still got my old alarm for uh, Series Men. So she's moved on to a different uh, schedule now, so I will have to remember to change it one after the episode is done. Uh, we'll drop the algae up in here. And where will I have my fishing tackle? There we go, dress spinner. Let's pop you into the fishing rod. All right, time for bed. Masayoko. That will have been a very, uh, very short first half of this episode, but we've gotten to level 10 fishing. That doesn't surprise me. Fisher worth 50% more, chance to find treasure doubled. Hmm. That's... I mean, the treasure is nice. You can get some really nice items out of that, but I'm actually going to go for angler. I'm going to double the, the value on fish. Now, I wonder if the fish doubled on value for the sake of this particular... Uh, instance. We made a whomping great uh, deal of uh, cash there from the uh, regular farming. 8,988. Really? Again? My goodness, that was actually pretty good. We made uh, a pretty amazing amount on the mayo and uh, frankly just crazy amount on the cheese. Uh, but that's because it was basically two days worth of production. Uh, the chubs? made us uh, the most we did have six of them but uh, still 750 that's that's not bad at all not bad at all we even managed to make a decent amount on forage as well all in all a pretty good day all things considered very very nice indeed my goodness okay so there should be absolutely zero chance that we can't afford my lord that we can't afford to uh, to get the upgrade right first thing we're going to do this morning is we're going to put some more tea on there we go and indeed let's have some tea as well and just imagine that i that i drank the tea and then got on the the seat instead of getting on the seat first and then just hiking the chair up above my head Ah, start you. One day, one day you'll let me sit down and drink tea whilst watching the television in peace. It's going to be a clear and sunny day tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Egg Festival. Will Abigail have forgiven me for winning the last one? I'm not sure. Right, Wellwick, please have some good news for me. The spirit's broke. I don't know. They're just, they're just stuck in this, this endless state of not being happy. At least they're not upset, though. I, I will take the, the small win where it is, but my goodness. All right, Avak, thanks for your help with the fish. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced, but sometimes artificial factors can cause an imbalance. I've enclosed a blueprint from a science magazine that you might find interesting. Oh. A farm computer? What? A farm computer? Uh, I'm, so, I'm so so intrigued by this that I'm clicking on the wrong buttons. What on earth is a farm computer, and what does it do? Scans the farm and displays useful information. Where do we have a dwarf gadget? Huh. Now that is interesting. Greetings, young adept. I have enclosed in this package an item of arcane significance. Use it wisely. <gasps> Thank you very much. Dear Avak, tomorrow we're holding the egg festival in the town square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. I will not. I have now got a, uh, a, a reputation to uphold. I am the champion of the egg hunt until someone manages to take that title with me, which I hope will never happen. Uh, okay, well, I've got one there. Was it was it two or three? Oh, this may, may be awesome times. It was two. So, yes, we can indeed. Thank you very much. Tonk. Thank you. The purple mushrooms will keep us healthy. Hooray! We have uh, done a good deed for Rasmodius, and in return, Rasmodius has done a good deed by us. Thank you very much. Okay. And we started this episode off by me saying, oh, well, you know, I'm being being bad at going to the, the shop, so it might take a while for us to get that purple mushroom. Who knew that all along all I needed was the friendship of a wizard? Forage. But before we get too distracted, don't worry, Yoko. I'm coming, I'm coming. It's too hard for you to be without water. There we go. Right, well, do we have more gold to pop on? We do, in fact, still have spare gold to pop in. My lord. 
Only two, though. But that was that, that was a good legacy from the last run, the couple of runs that we've had in the uh, in the caves, to have still been going at this point. All right, let's go and drop off the snail and the crayfish. There we are. Uh, do we want to drop off some honey? Do we have any honey? We've got some honey. I'll drop off two. Uh, what type of honey is this? It's blue jazz honey. Let's pop that in there. There you go. Alright, let's go ahead and check down here. Ooh! All the coffee beans are ready. Yeah. Now, of course, not exactly what I'm known for wanting to farm, but look, Harvey can, is, is old enough to make his own mistakes. Perhaps I am now complicit since I am helping him make those mistakes, but I uh, need an excuse to validate the fact that I'm growing coffee on my farm. I'm growing more tea, though, so hopefully it evens out. Is that how it works? I'm not sure if that's how it works. Uh, this, oh, it's considered a seed, so I'll pop it over here. Of course it is. There we go. It costs so much. Uh, I feel, I feel that I am not being a force for good at this point. Turn in my tea card. Never mind. We're 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 almost almost at the point where I can start gathering, frankly, ridiculous, absolutely inhuman amounts of tea from the farm, and so it will all be made well in the end. There we go. What are you doing? Speaker Blair has got no no hearts yet, but we'll get there. Don't you worry. Right. Could I get a little bit more milk, please? Thank you. Don't get too close. There we are. And there we go. Perfect. Get some cheese on the go. Though one of them's only a small cheese. Uh, sorry, a small milk. Well, I mean, you know, it'll turn into a non-gold star cheese. I hope you're feeling okay in there. Uh, this isn't a sign that you're desperately unhappy with something that I'm doing. Right, let's get all of this done. Now, with the money that we have, I'm thinking it may actually be worth our time to go visit Robins, get the uh, get the uh, shed being built, and then, immediately following that, go to Clint's and maybe upgrade the axe. Maybe the axe or the pickaxe. Uh, I'm kind of feeling the pickaxe, actually. I think that might be the, the better option. All right, Darp Help. There we go. I hope you're all feeling marvelously wonderful this morning. Uh, we've got an egg there, another egg there. Right, duck eggs first. There we go. And we will come back for the other eggs later on today. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I remember. You can never be too certain with me, but I will try. I'll try my best, in fact. And you can't say better than that. Oh my lord, there's quite a lot of uh, random seeds popping down all over the place. There we are. Now, uh, I apparently have made a rather... Uh, silly error in the way I planted trees elsewhere, and I planted them too close together. And honestly, I know, I know exactly where that uh, that mistake comes from. It's from Terraria, where you can plant trees right next to each other, and only one of them will grow. But it will grow, and it'll just basically prevent the other from growing properly. So, you know, you just have to come back at some, some later time and... Uh, you know, chop down the tree that you planted and you should be good. Uh, however, <laughs> that uh, is not the way that it happens in Stardew Valley, and I should have remembered that. Uh, we will we will uh, address that problem in the very near future, I assure you. Right, well, let's first grab a bunch of gold ingots. Thank you. And we shall soon be off, I think. Uh, should we go to Clint's first? I'm not entirely certain about that. Not entirely certain, no. No, we're going to go to Robin's first. It's 12.40. We'll have plenty of time to get to both. That shouldn't be an issue for us. There we are. Of course, I could have easily taken the uh, the minecarts to get down there to Clint's and then just hop straight back. Still, we'd be a little ways out. So, I think this is better. See, I still can't collect... I still can't gather whilst on, on horseback. I've tried a couple of ways now. I tried doing it head on, tried doing it side on. Hmm. Uh, more for sciencing, it seems. Here's an essay. Oh, hello, everyone. 
Well, while you're all here, what do I matter? My mother is a carpenter and my dad is a scientist. I guess it makes sense that I'm into building gadgets. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Got uh, strong influence for both. Robin has a hot temper. It's better to stay on her good side. I, I was planning on doing that. Now, if I could only quantify her mood levels, perhaps I could model the fluctuations. You, I recommend you don't. I strongly... I know that the urge is, is, is great and... Uh, the, the, I, I'm not going to say that that your your model would not be a a thing to marvel at and it might might advance social sciences by decades. But I I just really feel that your relationship would suffer even as science improved. Let's not let's not open open that bag of worms. No no. Uh, right there we go. Shed time for you to be built. Let us hope that we have enough room. I think we do. And I think we can pop it right about here. Oh, fantastic. Yes. And it'll have a nice nice uh, distance between the shed and the uh, the stable there. Okay, let's pop that down. We can maybe have a lamppost or something in the middle there. Lovely. Okay, I'll start work on your new shed the day after tomorrow. I always take festivals off. That is perfectly fine. Thank you very much, Robin. Have a good day. That is marvellous. Okay. Now, let's head straight down into town, and indeed, straight along to Clint. So, uh, on our way, let's uh, poke our head around, see who's about. Hello! Oh, hey, Hayley. How are you doing? My sister really hates sashimi. Uh, okay. Thank you very much for the warning. I wasn't, uh, wasn't sure who didn't like it, but I did know that someone didn't like it. Which is why I've not been really giving it out to too many people. I know a couple of people who absolutely do like it, but, uh, yeah. Here you go, Evelyn. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. You're more than welcome. George spends the whole day in front of that darn television set. I wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. Well, I mean... You're probably right, the being outside would probably be good. But if if being in front of the television is what he wants, I'm not going to say he, that he shouldn't do it. Uh, I was about to say good morning, Penny, but it's actually good afternoon. Dishes, dishes, dishes. <sighs> My mother wasn't always nursing a headache from her late nights at the saloon. Maybe she could help around the house a little bit. Yeah. I like living on the farm. My favourite is the fresh ice cream from our cow's milk. Oh no, Mum's making lentil soup again. I like lentil soup. I don't know why you are against it. Alright, well, let's head on in. Hello. Right, I would like to upgrade a tool. <sighs> it's going to be the gold pickaxe. I think we're going to get more use out of the gold pickaxe than anything else. Thanks, I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple of days. Well, that doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop. You're right. You know what? Here you go, babe. Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. I am glad that that put so much of a smile on your face. Have a good day, babe, mate. Right, let's pop into the library, or rather the mu the museum. Come library, is everyone here? Yes, they are. Now I know I know what you're going to say, Caroline. So I'm just going to I'm just going to come along. I'm going to slide this tea along the floor in front of you. As, a, as an offering. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. You're more than welcome. I know you, you're not you're not keen on, on people disturbing your your moment uh, of uh, peace and quiet, so I will leave it at that. Hopefully she she was able to interpret my, my smile and nod, but otherwise silent getaway in the way it was intended. I'll admit, it takes me several hours each morning to make my hair look this good. Well, that, that, that makes perfect sense, yes. It does take several hours for me to prepare my hair. Mostly the drying of it, actually. Because I don't like using a hairdryer. So I let it dry by itself. And so I count that time when I'm limited in the amount of things that I can do as uh, time to prepare my hair. Then comes the styling. Well, I mean, a little bit of styling whilst it's drying does actually help, depending on the style I'm going for, but... <laughs> Uh, the washing and the drying take an enormous, enormous amount of time. Now, can I get you up or will I need the pick? Ah, thank goodness. There we go. That will work quite nicely. Right. Now then, let us go and check in on 
the crab pots down here. Thank you. And thank you. Not too bad. Let's drop off a little bit of bait. I could do a bit of fishing, but uh, I did so much fishing in the last episode. Hey, Willie. If you really want to get the fish biting, make sure you put some bait on your hook. Well, I mean, you know, that does does <laughs> does seem to make sense, yes. I mean, it makes so much sense that uh, one wonders why you think you need to tell me, considering I must be, at this point, one of the... Maybe, maybe with the exception of Pam, one of the most regular fishes, other than yourself, in this town. So I'm not sure why you're telling me how to catch. I found an ashtray in Sebastian's room, and it smelled really weird. Should I be worried about this? Uh, no. I don't think you should be worried about it. I mean, it depends what, what weird you're talking about. Hey, Avak, I'm glad you stopped by. If, if, if it smells of, of, you know, depression and regret, maybe, but... <laughs> if it smells like what I think you're implying it smells of, probably not, no. You're probably good. Uh, I'm glad you stopped by. Well, I'm glad you think so. I'm not ashamed to say that I love my grandma. Good. You shouldn't be ashamed of that. Can't imagine anyone who's ashamed of that. Now, Grandpa, on the other hand... Uh, you... you... ashamed of loving... what? Oh! <sighs> Alex, you're scallywag. You, ha you, you did actually have me going for a second there. Well played. I hope things are going well on Dapper Glen Farm. I'd hate to see it all dried up for what? So would I, actually. My goodness, it's, it's going as well as I can imagine it going. I'll definitely be going to the saloon tonight. What else is there to do? I mean, that's kind of true. I wonder. I wonder if the if if any of the new content beyond the um, beyond the community center actually opens up new things for people to do in the town. That would actually be good because yeah, Shane does have a point. Especially, especially for for the younger inhabitants. There is very little to do here. Uh, might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop elsewhere. Yeah. I mean, I, I get it. As much as I kind of feel for PA, I do get it. Ah, speaking of PA, I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. You do. Also, a treat. That's very kind of you. I like this. Good. Good, I'm glad. And speaking of people who like sashimi, you go, Sebastian. I really love this, how did you know? Well, it probably has something to do with the many times I've given it to you before and you've told me you love it. Shall I let Sam win for once? <laughs> nah. You know, maybe you should at some point. At this this point, not letting him win is becoming a habit by which you could be, your, your actions could be anticipated. Need to shed those as quickly as you can. <sighs> I'm not very good. It's okay, mate. It's all right, you'll get better. Practice makes perfect. The birds were happily chirping today. They're too simple to understand the future. Well, I mean, or maybe they've actually perfected not worrying about things they can't change. It's better to be like them, isn't it? I mean, it depends. It depends what you 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 think is is uh, the reason for them being so happy. Handling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. I imagine you would pop by the saloon whether you've been handling salty fish all day or not. It looks like a decent day for fishing, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, actually it does, though yesterday was particularly good. Hello, Havak. It's a nice day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. All the better for seeing you. Stop by my cabin if you ever need someone to talk to. Uh, I shall. Thank you very much for the invitation. I really should, actually. She's invited me so many times, and I don't actually make a habit of dropping by the, the cabin. Or at least, I have awful time, and I drop by when she's not there. All right, guys, give me another pint of your strongest. Maybe, maybe, maybe the, 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 the second strongest? And, and then, then slowly work down to the third strongest? Then the, kind of the middling kind of strength? And I, I just feel that maybe going straight for the strongest... As, as your first, or at least I hope it's your first, uh, drink, maybe isn't the right way to go. That being said, may, maybe you're kind of going for, for for power over quantity, in which case I could understand it. Sometimes, especially on a low budget, that's yeah, it's, it's a complicated problem with power. Uh, business has been really good tonight. I'm pleased. I'm very glad, me. I'm pleased because you're pleased. Ah, spring. The season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself, though. Oh, excuse me, I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? It's okay. I'm happy to, to listen to your mumbling. It's very pleasant. 
Right, well, we've said hello to everyone. I don't really intend to drink myself, but... Oh, I've already talked to you. Never mind. Sorry about that. Right, well, uh, let's be on our way. Now, should we go through the forest? Ah, sure. Yeah, let, let's let's pop through. Let's go and see. I, I'm fairly certain that at this point the uh, travelling merchant won't be selling anything, and I'm a bit of a derp for not having gone there earlier, but uh, well, uh, we'll pop by and maybe say hello to the pig. Uh, I, at least I think the pig stays there, or maybe the pig leaves as well. No, the pig is still there. I can't actually say hello to the pig, but uh, at least we can admire that very dabber hat of his. Or hers, for that matter. All right, let's head on up. And make a point of putting all of our animals to bed. There we go. I know I don't strictly need to close the barn door, especially when I know that the next day is going to be fine and sunny. It, I just, I just like it. I don't know. It feels like I'm actually taking care of them properly. <laughs> Popping my head in a, a, of an evening to make sure that it all is well. Uh, also, let's uh, grab all of that and pop on some more eggs as well, which we can pick up then on the morrow. There we go. All right, we've got our barn, or rather our shed. I'm going to keep calling it a barn. <laughs> I'm just going to have to make my peace with that because I don't think at this point that I'm going to be able to stop. Still, that will be coming along in the next few days, which is fantastic for us. Uh, let's pop those back in the fishing rod. And drop off all of the gold. All right, not too bad at all. Got a little bit of trash to pop in there, but overall I'm fairly happy with what we managed to get today. Uh, that should bring us in a fair old whack of money. Mm. With the last few minutes of the day, we're going to go and check in on the bats. It's been a couple of days, so they, they may well be... Oh, wow, there, there's actually quite a lot of, uh, of fruit left by. Thank you very much. Very kind of you indeed. I think I'm going to go pop these down by the preserve jars, though. And I will allow them to be... Uh, used up on that. Though, I will double check and just make sure that we have some fruit uh, in the uh, the forage chest. Just make sure that we've got an example of each type of fruit, that is. But the rest of the, the bats forage we're going to pop down into the preserved jar area. Now, once we have this shed made, this is when we're going to move all of the chests across and build the workbench in there. And I think that will drastically improve things for us. Right, we obviously don't need spice berries. Uh, oh, actually, the fruit anyway. No, that was silly of me. Uh, though, that being said, we have no... Oh, no. We've got plenty of examples of iridium-quality spice berries. Uh, what am I saying? Uh, take these out. We've got... You know what? Sure, I'll leave the iridium ones. Uh, we've got iridium salmon berries. Grab these. Iridium wild plums. Take those out. My lord. And an iridium apricot. I don't think we've got a non-iridium version of that, actually. Okay. Mm, seems good to me. Now, let's go grab this coal. Tuck that away. And with the remaining wood and stone that we have, let's see how many preserve jars I can make. Uh, let's see. I can make a decent amount. Actually, three of them. Brilliant. Now, let's tuck that in. Okay, let's go and pop these down. We should have enough room, I think. There we are. Now, I'm, I haven't decided on where I'm going to pop the uh, the storage bin, but I, I, I am pretty certain that we're not going to be keeping the storage bin down here anymore. Uh, sorry, down by the beach. That's why, why I picked it up. I didn't uh, expressly mention it at the time, but uh, my intention is to keep the storage bin uh, somewhere else on the farm. There's a couple of spots which might actually be, be useful for it that I think we'll, we'll tuck it in there instead. Okay, it should only be a couple more days now. Uh, a couple more visits to our fish before we can finish the pantry. That's going to be amazing. Let's drop everything off there. Nothing to drop off. Drop everything off here. There we go. And with that, I think that's going to be uh, an end to uh, a fairly fairly good day. All things said and done. Oh, never mind. We've got uh, a few more things to do. Very well. Uh, while we're in here, 
Let's just go ahead and drop off. Oh, we do have a dwarf gadget. I didn't check. <sighs> right, well, let's have a quick look then. A battery pack and 10 refined quartz. Do I have a battery pack in here somewhere? Yes. And I'm certain we've got 10 refined quartz. Well, this is marvelous. Okay, time for us to make ourselves a farm computer. Do I need to put it out here on the farm? Or can I have it inside? I mean, I wouldn't want it to get rained on, you know? That seems like a terrible idea. Let's uh, pop the crystal fruit wine in there, though. Uh, we'll grab some more. Uh, yeah, we'll grab all of these. Take the farm computer inside with us. And... Sure. Oh! This is some nice music that I haven't heard before, or at least I don't recognize. Uh, right, where are we going to pop the computer? Let's pop it in my bedroom. Look, okay, I know putting your computer in your bedroom isn't the smartest thing because you're going to get... Look, I find it soothing, okay? I grew up with my computer in my room. The the, the gentle whir of the fans, the, the soft lights. All right, pieces of hay, 35 of 240. Okay, total crops, 132. Crops ready. Crops ready. Unwatered crop, zero. Open tilt soil, one. Foraged items, two. Machines ready, two. Farm cave ready? No. Huh. Maybe that actually should go outside, but there's crops ready? Have I got enough time to take care of this? Crops ready. Oh, it'll be strawberries, won't it? Are the strawberries ready? No. Hmm. Maybe there's some forage somewhere? Because none of these crops look ready. Okay, well, uh, I'll have to have a proper... Thorough hunt around later on, but that's actually really useful. Okay, I'm pleased with that. But it is now time for a sleep. Ah, day 12 of spring, year 2, has been moderately profitable. Not bad at all. We made 8,012 gold, but that is going to be the end of the episode. I really do hope you have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed recording it. I hope you're looking forward to the Egg Festival as much as I am. But until next time, and as always, do remember to leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.